Sam Ross with Sky Management. Today we're going to be fixing a range or a stove. Now this is a Frigidaire stove. What we've had happen was we had a power surge uh, last week and it fried the board in this oven. It was given an F13 error. And when you look it up, the F13 error is says to turn off the power and turn it back on. If it's still showing the error, which it was, then it says to replace the oven control board. And that's this whole piece right here that has all the buttons and the clock and stuff on it. So we're gonna be replacing this section with a new one. We ordered this new uh, replacement part off Amazon and it came yesterday. Uh, I will put the link for this one that we're gonna do. Uh, this is the new one. We're gonna put the link for this down below in, in the comments section down below. We'll have the link for this one. However, you need to check uh, the product number on it. Make sure that it is good for your oven because there are different button setups and such uh, depending on the model. So uh, we'll put this one down there, but then be sure and compare it before you go buying one. The first step you're gonna do is open up the back of this, take this one out. So let's get in close. To remove the back panel of most appliances, they use the, the uh, hex head that the bits fit in, whatever size that is, that's what removes these. So that's what I'm gonna use. For these Frigidaire, they also have a square hole in the back where you can use a square bit. Remove all the screws from the back and the panel will fall out. Allowing you to get inside. Then there are four Phillips head screws holding in the control board here. Before we take those out, I'm gonna to wanna to unplug. There are two plugs, one there and one down here. Just kind of wiggle them back and forth a little bit and they'll come off. And then we can remove the whole control board with these four Phillips head screws. Careful not to drop the screws down on the inside. Okay. Now we have the board out. And you might notice that these look a little bit different. That's because they sell the faceplate of this thing. The sticker that goes on the front of this is sold separately. Uh, we're gonna try to save a little bit of money here. If you wanna buy the front sticker of this so that it matches the old one and you have a new sticker, they're about 35 to $40. So to save some money, I'm gonna take a hair dryer to this and try to peel it off and stick it on the new one to save us about 40 bucks. All right, now we're ready to install the new one. So I'm gonna put the old sticker on there. There's still quite a bit of stick left on the back of mine, but if you wanted to add a little bit of super glue, just make sure you could do that. Just try to get it fairly straight here. All right, now we're gonna slap it in the back. Plug it back in. Now we've got the control board all installed. I'm gonna clean this up and go ahead and replace the stove pans on here. If you don't know how to do that, we've got a video for that. You can click right up here. Uh, and then we'll get this installed down in an apartment and plug it in and try it out. We've got our range all cleaned up and it's installed in an apartment. Uh, plugged it in, it's not showing any errors. Go ahead and try to turn it on. Looks like it's working. I'm happy with it. <laughs>